What can you do in two seconds? That's the amount of time it takes from the time the implement is back and ready to go to getting launched out of the thrower's hand. Whether it's the shot put or the discus, it's two seconds. And why is throwing so difficult? Because those two seconds, so many things are happening. How do we know, what do we do at the start? What do we do when we enter the circle? What do we do in the middle? What do we do at the finish? What are all the things that make getting better as a thrower so challenging? The biggest thing is that it takes two seconds. Whether you're a world-class thrower, it's just under two seconds. If you're a brand new youth thrower, from the time that implement is back to out of your hand is just a little over two seconds. So the difference between a beginner and a world-class athlete is tenths of a second. One of the things when you look at all of these things and the speed and the quickness of a thrower, this is what you need to learn. How do we attack two seconds? If you go out and practice every day and you just put in two seconds of throws and you're really diligent, you get 100 throws, that's 200 seconds. That's not a lot of time. And so what do we need to do? We need to break that throw down. How do you attack two seconds and how many things can you work on in two seconds? And the answer is very, very little. to know how to dissect the throw, break it down, and that's what the throwing chain reaction system helps our throwers do. It's simply a way of organizing the throw, taking the science, putting it together, training the location and the objective and the positions of each pillar so that you know what to do, so you know how to see it, so you know how to actually work and develop patterns because it's gonna take you so much more than two seconds. You do all the work to be able to execute those two seconds the most efficiently. Our sport is complex, it's highly technical, and if you simply just throw, it's going to take you the longest way to get better. You have to learn how to look at the science, simplify it, and work on the things. You need to be able to identify your imbalances, your technical flaws, the weak link in your growing chain. What we're trying to do with this is show you how you learn to absolutely crush it in two seconds.